Hola y bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Um, and this is a very quick lesson on the verb decir in the past. Okay? Now, it's it's really, it's not a lesson. I just want to tell you some things that, that help me. Decir is one of the verbs to say. Okay? It's one of the verbs that in the past you have to command. If you don't command it, you're in trouble. Why? Because we talk like this. Well, I said to him... Uh, that blah 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 and he said to me that blah 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 and well and then he said to me this and I said to him that okay now it seems complicated but actually it's not as complicated as you think because it's a melody it's music so when you're talking you do this and you say this and this is what I want you to do okay to say to say he said to me you say me dijo y me dijo que me dijo que. Me dijo que. All right? Me dijo que. So, and then it's nearly always the other way around, which is I said to him or I said to her. You know, it doesn't really matter. And that would be le dije que. Okay? So, me dijo que. Le dije que. Me dijo que. Le dije que. So, what you have to do is... Practice it as though it were a tune, as though it were a song. And this is how you do it. You just walk along the street, like when I was practicing the R's, and I would I'd be walking along the street going, R, 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 and then R, 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 Okay, I would do that on my own walking down the street. Right? Well, this isn't something else that you can do on your own walking down the street. And this is, you just walk along going, me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije. Right? And you say it so many times that you actually just end up with it programmed into your head. Okay? Me dijo y le dije, me dijo y le dije, me dijo y le dije. Okay? Because probably of all of the things, that's one of the most complex. So what you can do... You can start to practice the, the crossover. Remember with decir, because you were exchanging information, you've always got to use a pronoun and it's the le pronoun or the les. Yeah? So that's in third person. So and that's when we when we're telling people we tend to use third person. Obviously when if you wouldn't say and I said to you and you said to me, unless you were telling somebody, you know, like trying to verify what you said. But typically we're using third person. He said to me, she said to me, or they said to me, and I said to them. Yeah, so that's what you can practice. So that's the practice is. Me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije, o me dijeron, les dije, me dijeron, les dije, me, me dijeron, les dije. Okay, and that's what you're going to do. That's what your practice is. Now, the next step is actually knowing what the hell to say after that. Me dijo que everything after that has to be in the past. Okay, so there's your challenge. There's your challenge because everything has to be in the past. You've got to convert the lot into the past. And that is also another challenge, which we can talk about the next time. Um, how do you do that? How do you get everything into the past? But the first thing is getting who said what to whom. Because once you get that wrong, when you say um, me dije rather than me dijo, or you say uh, le dijo rather than le dije, then you've got your listener completely bamboozled, completely out of the mind. Who said what to whom? Okay, so that's why it's important to get the persons right, especially when you're in this like two way, when you're recounting a two way conversation. Okay, so that's your homework. Your homework this week is, oh, the dogs are running around. The homework this week is to walk along the street or wherever you are, sitting on the toilet or, or on the train or on the bus or in the car saying, me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije, me dijo, le dije. Okay? Homework. Hasta luego, adios.